Believe it or not, it has been a while since we have done a book outlet unboxing. We're bringing it back to our roots. We used to do one of these videos at least every month. It's been a while. We love this website still. They've had a lot of good deals recently and we did some damage. So today we're just gonna go over everything that we purchased from book outlet. Y'all know we've been obsessed with book outlet for so long and we've noticed that now they're not gonna be running sales anymore. They have decided to sell their books at a certain percentage from the regular listing price, which I also do love because sometimes they wouldn't have as good of a sale and then I would be waiting for the 25% or 30% to come back. I think they have a lot more newer books now because beforehand I feel like it was more of a site you would just kind of browse to find new books for a discount, but now they've got the popular like book talk books available. Taylor Jenkins reads always on there, Emily Henry, mm -hmm. Colleen Hoover. So they've stepped up their game. I'm okay with the no sales because they already have such a good discount. I'm excited. I don't even remember some of these because we ordered so long ago. Cool here. <laughs> you almost just <laughs> feared my life. Sorry. Okay, <laughs> that wasn't too bad. Yeah. We see books. So up first on the top, I see Serpent and Dove by Shelby Mahernan. I have been waiting to read this series. I have owned the third book in this series for a while now, and I had been searching for the first book in hardcover. Book Outlet finally had it, so I knew I had to snatch it up. I actually don't even know much about this series. I know it's one of the like, classic YA fantasies though, so I want to get it read. Bound as one to love, honor, or burn, and love makes fools of all of us. It says two years ago, Louise fled her coven and took shelter in a city that forsakes all magic. There, witches like Lou are hunted, feared, and burned. Then we have Reed. He's sworn to the church and is lived by a motto, thou shall not suffer a witch to live. His path was never meant to cross with Lou's, but a wicked stunt forces them into an impossible union, holy matrimony. It says a war between witches and church is an ancient one, and Lou's most dangerous enemies bring a fate worse than fire, unable to ignore her growing feelings, yet powerless to change what she is, a choice must be made. Okay, I kind of like that. It's like a forbidden love almost. Arranged marriage maybe. I'm interested. I had no idea this was about witches. Miss Sarah J. Mass is the blurb on the top. A brilliant debut full of everything I love. I'm excited. The back says a witch and a witch hunter bound in holy matrimony. There was only one way such a story could end. A stake and a match. That sounds good. I'm glad I can finally start this series. I did get two books they had in the Influencers series. This is Set on You and X's and O's. I've actually seen these romance books a lot on Bookstagram recently. The first one says a gym nemesis pushes a fitness influencer to the max in Amy Lee's steamy debut romantic comedy. Curvy fitness influencer Crystal Chen built her career by shattering gym stereotypes and mostly ignoring the trolls. After her recent breakup, she has little stamina left for men, instead finding solace in the gym. Enter firefighter Scott Ritchie, bonding over family, fitness, and cheesy pickup lines. They just might have found their swole mate. But when a photo of them goes viral, savage internet trolls put their budding relationship to the ultimate test of strength. I think it sounds silly, but I think it sounds like a good time too. It's a little over 300 pages. I always love reading romance comedies. This one sounds unique about an influencer and surrounding the gym. And then X's and O's, a romance novel obsessed social media influencer revisits her exes on her hunt for true love in this romantic comedy. Romance book connoisseur Tara Chen has had her heart broken 10 times by 10 different men, all of whom done her because of her stage five linger tendencies. Mood, same. <laughs> Tara decides to revisit her exes in hopes of securing her very own trope-worthy second chance romance. I think these both sound really cute. The covers are so cute as well, so I'm really hoping I like them so I can continue buying more in the series and I can sit nice and pretty on my shelves. I think what happened here is I must be in my lit fic phase. I don't know why I've been drawn to literary fiction lately, but I'm okay with it. Up first, I have all as well by Mona Awad. I read Bunny by her and it was an insane book. That one was just completely bizarre. Probably the most unique book I read so I wanted to get another one by her. No idea what it's about. I only bought it because I knew it was this author. So we're following a girl named Miranda. She was in an accident that now has her experiencing chronic back pain so she's dependent on painkillers. The bottom says Mona Awad has concocted her most potent subversive novel yet. All's Well is a fabulous novel about a woman at her breaking point and a formidable piercingly funny indictment of our collective refusal to witness and believe female pain. <gasps> it's always 
only so much with these literary fiction novels, but it sounds good. Bunny was a ride. I'm sure this one's gonna be a ride as well. I've seen it a couple times recently and I've heard good things, so I hope that I love it. I know this is gonna be one that I should annotate. Next I have If We Were Villains. We have heard so many great things about this book. So it seems like we're following a group of actors. It says Oliver and his friends play the same roles on stage as off, but in their fourth and final year, good-natured rivalries turn ugly and on opening night, real violences invades the students' world of make-believe. In the morning, the fourth years find themselves facing their very own tragedy and their greatest acting challenge yet, convincing the police, each other, and themselves that they are innocent. I like it. One of the blurbs at the top says this is a rare and extraordinary novel, tender and harrowing exploration of friendship, and a genuinely breathtaking literary thriller. This plot does seem really unique. I love a mystery thriller, and this one just sounds like a really fun time. Anytime there's an Otessa Moshfeg book on Book Outlet, I grab it. I don't care what it is, but this one I've actually had my eye on forever. I say that about everything, but this is Homesick for Another World, and I know Book of the Month had it years ago. It's completely sold out now on their website, so I've been waiting to find it and I'm so glad I have it now. I love the cover. No idea what it's about either. It says homesick for another world will scorch you like a blowtorch. I like how on the back it's not necessarily a plot for what this is about. It's more just talking about Otessa Moshfeg herself. So it says there's something eerily unsettling about Otessa Moshfeg's stories. Almost dangerous while also being delightful and funny. Characters in this highly anticipated debut collection are unsteady on their feet. They yearn for a connection and betterment but are often tripped up by their own baser impulses and existential insecurities. Securities. <sighs> It's always a lot. It says in Moshfeg's unique voice, the grotesque and outrageous are infused with tenderness and compassion. The flesh is weak, timber is crooked, and people are cruel to each other. But beauty comes from the strange sources and dark energy surging through these stories is powerfully invigorating. My God. Literary fictions are just insane in itself, but I hope I get smarter reading these. I hope my vocab increases. Hopefully it develops because we all know that I need more synonyms for the words I use. But I'm so excited for this one. I'm glad that they had it. There is something that I just love about a holiday romance. And Book Outlet has had a lot of holiday romances, specifically Halloween romances. So I had to get one. This one is The Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches. I've only read The X Hex. And I really enjoyed that because it really put me in that fun, fall, silly, spooky mood. So I'm hoping this one will do the same. It says a warm and uplifting novel about an isolated witch whose opportunity to embrace a quirky new family and a new love changes the course of her life. As one of the few witches in Britain, Mika Moon knows she has to hide her magic, keep her head down, and stay away from other witches so their powers don't mingle and draw attention. And as an orphan who lost her parents at a young age and was raised by strangers, she's used to being alone and she follows the rules, with one exception. An online account where she posts videos pretending to be a witch. She thinks no one will take it seriously. But someone does. An unexpected message arrives, begging her to travel to the remote and mysterious nowhere house to teach three young witches how to control their magic. As Mika begins to find her place at Nowhere House, the thought of belonging somewhere feels like a real possibility. But magic isn't the only danger in the world, and when peril comes knocking at the door, Mika will need to decide whether to risk everything to protect a found family she didn't know she was looking for. I love me a found family. That is like one of my favorite tropes. One of the blurbs at the top says, witty, witchy, and wonderfully romantic. The very secret society of irregular witches will warm your heart with its endearing characters, grumpy sunshine love stories, and gorgeously sparkling magic. I can't wait for Halloween. This cover is absolutely beautiful too, so I can't wait to read it. Up next, I have Pew by Catherine Lacey. I actually saw this one on Bookstagram, so I'm excited for it. It says, in a small unnamed town, a church congregation arrives for a service and finds a figure asleep on the pew. The person is genderless and racially ambiguous and refuses to speak. One family takes in the strange visitor and nicknames them Pew. Pew is shuttled from one household to the next. Slowly, the void around Pew presence begins to unnerve the community, yet by the time Pew's story reaches a shattering and unsettling climax, the secret of who they really are, a devil or an angel or something else entirely, is dwarfed by even larger truths. I'm interested. It seems like such a short read. I think this one's going to be super interesting with lots of good quotes. I see that it was up for a bunch of awards in 2021, so hopefully it won. But I've been wanting kind of like an unsettling strange book, so I think this one will definitely be that. Lauren recently started a new series, half of my recommendations 
recommendations come just from you. And if you love a book, that probably means I'm gonna really like it too. You started Annihilation and you absolutely loved it. When you were explaining it, it kind of reminded me of Chernobyl, like Chernobyl Diaries. And I've always been interested in that. So I'm definitely interested in reading this book. It says Area X has been cut off from the rest of the world for decades. So we're following the 12th expedition and there's a group of women and their mission is to map this area, record all their observations of the surroundings and of one another and above all avoid being contaminated by Area X itself. They arrive expecting the unexpected and Area X delivers but it's the surprises that come across the border with them and the secrets the expedition members are keeping from one another that changes everything. This is a really short read so if I don't love it I'm not going to be too mad about it. Just based on this summary alone I think I'm really going to enjoy it. I hope you do. I gave that a five star and because of that I saw Book Outlet had book two authority so I decided to pick that one up. I know that in this one we're following different people than we were in the first one but it does pick up some time after the first one takes place so I am ready to meet these new characters and see where the story is going to go because I know there's a book three in this series and I'm hoping I love this one just as much so I can get the third one but I know from the first one that I love Jeff Vandermeer's writing it's so descriptive and atmospheric so I'm so ready to get into this one hopefully it's also a five for me once I'm done with the series I know I'm gonna want to read other sci-fi so I'm excited to get started that was all the books we got just a cute little haul we didn't go too crazy for the most part all of these are books that I've been wanting so I'm so happy that I own them now. I think I'm gonna be in my lit fic era so let me know if there's any recommendations or books that you really love in that genre. I would love to get them. If you want to go check out Book Outlet's website we do have a referral code. If you've never made a purchase with Book Outlet they will give you five dollars off your first order of $25 or more which we can easily get to $25 <laughs> on that website so that link will be in the description below. That's gonna be it for today's video. If you're not already a part of our book club make sure to join before we start reading His and Hers by Alice Feeney. That link is in the description as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already and we will see you next time. Forget it. <laughs> oh, we got we it. Get the plastic off. We got it now. No, I appreciate this extra layer yeah, of coverage. Too. Here is where it's always a mess. They have the pull here tab and it's never as easy as you think it would be. Just a little preparing. Here, wait. Let's hope this will be super easy. Pull here. <laughs> you almost just <laughs> feared my life. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> that wasn't too bad. Oh. Oh. <laughs> God. We're just peeling Forget it. Get it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, you got it. You got it. It's always the worst. Okay, well, here we go. Ready? Yes. Yeah. We see books. Oh, I was so excited. A gun? What? That says Jim. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> and when Peril comes knocking at the door, Mika will need to decide whether to risk everything to protect a found family she didn't know she was looking for. Who is Peril? No, Peril. <laughs> it's like bad stuff. Oh.